All right, so we're going to figure out the materials needed for the exterior walls of this ranch style house. So the information that we need is the length of the house, the width of the house, and then we're going to need how many doors and windows. All right, over here we're going to figure our studs, plates, headers, and sheeting that go onto the house. All right, so let's start with studs. So how do we determine how many studs we need? There are several ways to do it. You can go and you can count. Like, okay, I need an extra one for a door. I need an extra one for a window. I need an extra one for a corner post. I need an extra one for a T-post. And you go around and count them all. All right, that's one way. An easier way is to take one stud for every linear foot of walls that you're going to build. So in order to do that, all we have to do is add up how many linear feet we have. So we're going to take 56 plus 28, and that gives us 84 linear feet for these two walls. Then we have to multiply it times 2 for the other two walls. So that gives us a total of 168 linear feet of walls. So if we go with the 20, one stud for every 12 inches of linear wall, we need 168 studs. Okay? Plates. How many plates do we need? Well, in a wall makeup, you have a bottom plate, and you have a stud, and you have a top plate and a double top plate. And they go all the way around the building on the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the linear feet that we figured in the previous question and multiply it times 3 for 3 plates. Uh, 24, 18, 25. So we need 504 linear feet of plates. Now, we need to know how many pieces that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this by whatever length we want our plates. So we're going to make it easy. We'll just say we're going to use 16 inch plates, or 16 foot plates, excuse me. So we're going to take 504 divided by 16 foot plates, and that gives us 31.5 boards. So we'll round that up and we'll call it 32. Okay, for headers, you're going to go to the windows and door schedules to find out how big your windows and doors are. All right, so I'm making this easy. I've got three 3068 doors and I've got five 3050 windows. So 30 means that they are three feet wide or 36 inches. And I need eight of those. All right. So when you're making up headers, headers are longer than the window or the window itself. So you have to add for spacings and jams and uh, trimmer studs and everything. So if, for me, I like to go easy. I just add six inches. All right. So three feet becomes three feet six inches. Now I need eight of those. But when making up a header, it's two pieces with a OSB spacer in it, so I have to double the amount of pieces that I need, so I multiply that times two, so I need 16 pieces, 3 feet 6 inches. Okay, then I decide what size boards I want to use. Do I want to use 8 footers, 10 footers, 12 footers, 16 footers? What do I want to use to cut these out? That's when I would decide. Okay, so two of these would give me seven feet, three six, so that'd be seven feet. So if I bought an eight footer, I'm wasting about a foot. I could do that. So I have 16 pieces, so that means I would need, I can get two out of each board, so I would need eight boards. That's if they're all the same size. So if I'm using 2x12s for all my headers, I could do that. If I'm going to go, some of them are 2x6s, some are 2x8s, 
Some are two by tens, some are two by twelves. Then it would be one of these, one of these, one of those, and one of them. Okay, so it all depends on what you're making the header out of. But in this circumstance, I made them all out of two by twelves, so I can make them all the same. Okay, so that's basically how you do the header materials. Figure out how many pieces you need, what length they are, and then divide them up by the length of lumber that you want to buy. Okay, the last thing on this is sheeting. When you put sheeting on the side of a house, on the outside of a house, it goes in the vertical. So the bottom is four feet and the height is eight feet. So I need one piece of sheeting for every four feet, four linear feet of wall. So I'm going to go back to the original number, 168, and I'm going to divide by four feet. So I need 42 pieces of 716 OSB for my sheeting on the outside of my house. You notice I didn't subtract off for window openings and door openings because you really don't want to do that because you're going to cut that piece out anyways. You still need the full sheet. So you want to go with the full sheet. Now, usually these are not the numbers people go by because on a job site you always want to have extras because you get a pile of lumber, they're not always straight, some of them are cracked, some of them are unusable for other reasons. You may make a bunch of cutting errors and now all of a sudden you're short a piece. So what most people do when they estimate for materials, they add for waste. Okay, Waste can be anywhere from 10% to 50% depending on what material you're using. So let's say we're going to do 10%. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this times 10%, times 10%. Now we're going to get a new number. How do we multiply this? It's pretty simple. You're going to multiply this number, 168, times 1.1. 1 will be for the 168, the 0.1 will be the percentage there. It will give me a new number of how many I need. If I want 15%, it would still be 1.15. If I wanted 20%, it would be 1.2 that I would multiply. So if I take 168 times 1.1, I get 148.8, round it up to 184, so one, I round it up to 185. Okay, so I'm, instead of buying 168 stuff, I'm going to buy 185. Because I'm going to need bracing and stiff backs and blocking and all kinds of other stuff that I can use those studs, those studs for at a later point. And now the next thing is the plates. So I'm going to add 10% to that. So 32 times 1.1, 32 times 1.1 is 35.2. So I can go 35 or 36. Again, I like to have extra, so I'm going to round it up to 36. Okay, for these 2 by 12 headers, 8 times 1.1. I'm going to round that up to 9, and then for my sheeting, times 1.1 will give me 46.2 or 47 sheets. That way, with this 10%, I'll have enough. If I got a little bit extra left over, so be it. You know, you can take it to the next job, you can take it back to the lumber yard, whatever but you will always have enough on the job site because you don't want to have to be waiting for one sheet of plywood or you know you ran out of studs that's the worst thing that can happen on a job site so pretty simple studs plates headers and sheeting estimate we will do some interior walls on another video